Today I am reading A Day in the Life of a Firefighter. Rob Green packs clean clothes and says goodbye to his family. Rob is a firefighter. 8 a.m. At the fire station, he puts his clothes in a locker. Rob is on duty for 24 hours. Chief Myers gives the firefighters jobs for the day. In case of fire, Rob is on rescue. Rob gets other jobs too. Check the hoses, check the nozzles, cook supper. A new restaurant needs to be inspected this morning, Chief Myers says, and a second grade class is coming to visit after lunch. Rob checks. Nozzles change the way the water sprays out of the hose. All of the nozzles are working. Pete turns on the engine. Is there any gas? Lewis checks the oil level. 10.30 a.m. Rob and Pete inspect the restaurant. Is the fire exit light on? Where is the fire extinguisher? Do the sprinklers work? 12 p.m. It's lunchtime. Lewis tells about his fishing trip. He caught enough to share. Later, Rob will cook the fish for supper. 1.30 p.m. Miss Hill's class visits the fire station. Where is the siren? Rob shows the class what he wears to a fire. This is the air pack. Remember, Pete says, in a room full of smoke, stay near the floor. It is almost supper time. Rob cooks in the firehouse kitchen. Fried fish for 12 hungry firefighters. 6 p.m. Ring, ring, ring. The fire alarm goes off. Everyone scrambles. Rob is ready to go. The fire engine roars out of the station. E-I, E-I, goes the siren. 6.10 p.m. Pete puts on his mask and takes the attack line to the door. He waits. Rob is on rescue. Michelle's dog, Pickles, is still in the house. Rob goes in first. He hears a bark. He finds Pickles in the den. Rob takes Pickles to Michelle. Pete has a radio inside his helmet. Attack line one, go. Pete goes in. Soon water will rush out of the hose. The fire is out. Rob folds the hose. Lewis helps with the cleanup. Eight o'clock PM. The chief reports the house is safe now. Back at the station, everything is cleaned. The hose, the truck, the firefighters. 10.45 PM. Rob cooks again. At last, the firefighters get to eat their fish dinner. Then it is time for bed. Rob sleeps at the station. Before he falls asleep, Rob thinks about Michelle and Pickles. He smiles. He has the best job in the world. The end.